This location here on North Bruni Island where we are is it's quite a dry forest type and it also happens to be one of the most important breeding sites for the critically endangered swift parrot. So one of the biggest threats to swift parrots is deforestation and that's happening both on the Australian mainland where they spend their winter but it's happening quite badly in Tasmania where they breed and because Tasmania is only a small place there's not a lot of forest that's available for these birds to nest in so every little bit is, is quite important to these animals but unfortunately those patches that the swift parrots need are exactly the patches that we like to exploit for natural resources. We went out into these forests with an open mind basically just what do swift parrots do? What do swift parrots need? And over the course of 10 years, we found, oh, they don't nest in the same place. They move around, that's really important. And then we found, oh, they get eaten like quite severely by sugar gliders. And putting that information together with some fancy modeling has basically revealed that swift parrots are in a quite steep state of population decline and that the things that we're doing to their habitat is just making it worse. There's no mystery really about why these animals are threatened. We're making choices to ignore science that shows what we need to do in order to just continue with extractive industries that have a harmful impact on the environment. Australia is a, is a rich enough country that we should be able to protect our species and understand how to exploit the environment without also pushing creatures further toward extinction.